Caitlin Clark WNBA Predictions, Strengths, Hurdles to Expect Caitlin Clark enters her final Big Ten tournament hoping to lead Iowa to its third consecutive title. In 2022, the Hawkeyes won the tournament at Gainbridge Field House in Indianapolis. Last year, Iowa won the championship at Target Center in Minneapolis, site of the season's tournament. The senior guard's focus is fully on Iowa. But in a little more than five weeks, Gainbridge will become Clark's home arena if she is picked number one as expected by the Indiana Fever in the WNBA draft. The Fever will visit Target Center where Clark, who was born in West Des Moines, Iowa, attended WNBA games as a child for the first of three regular season contests on July 14. So while Clark keeps her mind on the business at hand in making the most of her final college postseason, we're looking ahead to what is coming soon in her professional career. Like all WNBA rookies, Clark will experience a whirlwind of transition over the next few months. How will she deal with the move to the WNBA? What aspects of the professional game might take the most time for her to adjust to? And with the Paris Olympics four months away, how does that factor in for Clark? ESPN talked to WNBA experts coaches, general managers and analysts for their insight. How will Clark's offensive skills translate to the WNBA? No NCAA Division I player has scored more points than Clark, and she's the only player since assists have been officially recorded in the college game to have at least 3,000 points and 1,000 assists. Her legacy is cemented as one of the greatest offensive players in college basketball history. Clark averages 32.3 points the season and 28.3 for her career. For perspective, Diana Taurasi's 25.3 points per game in 2006, her third year in the league, is the highest average in WNBA history. Cynthia Cooper, who played the first four seasons in the WNBA after a lengthy overseas career, has the highest WNBA career scoring average at 20.98. Brianna Stewart has the highest scoring average among active players at 20.82. That said, Experts told us that while her averages won't be as high as her college stats, Clark will remain an effective scorer in the WNBA and her assists numbers should be similar to the ones at Iowa. Clark will also have stronger talent around her, with young post players such as Aliyah Boston and N. Alyssa Smith, who have great hands and finish strong at the rim. Fever guards Kelsey Mitchell and Erica Wheeler should help relieve Clark on some of the pressure of scoring and ball handling. Everyone talks about things getting harder for her in the WNBA, but it's also true that some aspects of the pro game will make it easier for her, a WNBA general manager said. She will be playing alongside the best players she's ever played with. You're not going to be able to just key in on her. Still, experts point out that WNBA defenses will be better equipped to guard her full court, get in her passing lanes, cut off her drives and push her toward post players who will make it tough to get to the rim. She has played against some good defenses, a WNBA coach said, but no college teams have a defense like, say, the New York Liberty's Brianna Stewart and John Cole Jones, or the Las Vegas Aces AJA Wilson and Kia Stokes in the paint.